see you. Thank you so much for joining me. This is Esther at Stampin' Star Creations. I can see something on my lens. Bear with me while I just clean you up. Ugh. Is that better? <laughs> Welcome. So today the plan is to make a Christmas decoration. So um, I was explaining to the people in in Facebook, on Facebook earlier, that I started a new tradition and I decided to start last year because it's a nice round number, 2020 isn't it? So um happened to land on a nice year. Um, <laughs> I like, I've bit, got a thing for numbers, I like round numbers. <laughs> anyway, so I started last year and I'll show you what I made last year and the idea of this is to have a bit of a um, remembrance decoration if you if you like but um on the on the on the other side of the decoration i'm going to write um, memories to do with our family or that year and um was inspired by a friend of mine in uh, america called jody at happy house creates who's been doing this for years and i thought i really like the idea of that so my idea is to take the theme of my christmas tree for that year and also whatever um Stampin' Up! supplies there are that year also. So with those kind of things in mind, that's where I'm going. That's what I'm going with. So welcome. Do join me along for the ride. Thank you for watching the replay if you're catching up with this. Uh, skip forward for the chatting if you like. <laughs> right, I'm going to turn you around. How is everybody today? Let me know. Let me know something good about your day. Let's have some good news for once. <laughs> Right, I'm going to try and position this out my way, but to the point where I can, you can see me and I can see you. Right. I can, oh, you can see me. And I can... Echo, echo, right. Um, I was hoping I'd have the comments called up, but you're not there. So let's just, oh, there you are. There's comments. Great. Okay. Catching up with myself. Hi, everybody. I will say hello in a minute. I'm just mindful when I first come on, it's good to get started because... You don't want to be staring at a dirty piece of paper. Oh, Wendy's got all the decorations out of the cupboard and she started. Right, this is last year's decoration, okay? And I'll give you a quick flash on the back, but I don't really want you to read my personal uh, things. But there you go. So there's a little something um, about each of us as a family, but this was last year's. So last year's colours of my tree were green and red hence the green and red, and I used the house ties. I wanted to have the year on it, um, on show, so I know um, oh, <laughs> that it's obvious what year it is. It's got to be big enough so that I could put some writing on it, and that, that's my criteria. So this year, I don't know if you've seen my tree, I could maybe try and find a picture for you quickly, but this year it is bright colours, and... If you weren't here from my Facebook Live earlier, I mentioned that I've already planned a next year's colours. So let me know if you are the sort of person that likes to have the same decorations every year or whether you like to mix it up. Right, so there's there's a said tree. I've gone for bright colours this year. So I, I said to the kids, I've got a lot of ball balls I could do with some outdoor decorations. And that's with the lights out. So using that as inspiration for today, okay, I feel like I'm a bit slow. I feel like the camera's right in my face as well, right? <laughs> so the stamp set I'm going to use is, drum roll, belated drum roll, Delivering Cheer. I really like the kind of retro feel of this stamp set and the kind of the 50s, 60s vibe it, um, it has. So I'm going to be using that and so i'm going for fairly bright colors so there's some bright pink baubles on my tree and i'm going to go for evening evergreen and bringing back magenta madness i used her last week she's coming back again and um, what else is there to say yes I've, I've got a plan i actually have a plan in mind so let's get stumping uh, let's do the quick register and you can say answer to yes miss or present anything along those lines <laughs> Hi Levine and Rosie and Deborah. Hi, good to see you. Linda, Wendy. Hi Katrin. 
Mary and Cindy and Janine and Valerie. Hi, Jane and Ellie and Cheryl and Melanie. Hi, Mary and Ruth and Cheryl. And Mary from San Diego, welcome. And Tracy and Mindy and Alinda and Chan. <laughs> Okay, just, you know, say hello as you come in. Right, I've done quite a bit of prep actually, so don't expect to be too long tonight. But you know how these lives go. Let's just draw you in a bit so you can actually see what I'm doing. Okay, let's do that one again. <laughs> let's get, I've got a bit of a bump in my table, which doesn't help. So let's just, just show you the difference when you've got a piercing mat underneath. It just gives you the right, there you go. Gives you the right kind of impression that you need. So, these stamp sets, you have the presents that go with this lady here. Now, I know I've spoken to you about this before, but this is for the benefit of those who haven't heard it. Um, this lady goes with the presents. Here's one I've made earlier. The lady with the boots, she's got the option of the bouquet of flowers and the tree which fit nicely in her skirt but if you want to mix and match a bit you can by getting yourself a post-it note stamping on the post-it note and cutting it out and this is called masking so i've stamped the tree i'm going to put my post-it note on top of the image and then i'm going to grab out my skirt now i wanted her hands to match uh, or the arms of her sleeves to match her tights or whatever it is. I'm carefully stamping. I'm just going to wipe off that. There's a tiny little bit underneath her skirt. I'm going to try and wipe away. So I'm going to stamp the rest in evening evergreen. Now, it might not be obvious to start with, but it's obvious to me. So I'm going with that. Carefully trying to do that. Okay, so now, although this skirt is straight across, if I stamp on top here, hi Navarone, I saw you sneaking in there just as I was about to stamp down. <laughs> hi there, Karen. Do shout if it's your first time here and then we can give you a special welcome. Oh, look, look at that. Almost perfect, almost. Tiniest line there, but now. This is the joyful bit, is where you peel this off. Ta-da! It looks like the top should have matched the skirt. So this is where the fun begins. And I'm just going to grab out one colour, because I've missed this colour out of my prep. Okay, so we'll do the easy bit. I think, actually, why not? She's going to wear... She's going to wear green tights, I've decided because she's quite a funky girl and she's up for a party and I was going to give her a skin tone but I've decided she's such a smart girl that she has matching gloves, mittens in fact, her mittens match her tights. She happened to go to the same shop and they are a specialised shop that specialises mittens and tights. <laughs> she can't have red shoes with a pink dress. That can't that can't be the case. You'll have to have pink shoes. Oh, I was gonna I was gonna change my mind then and do dark green, but no, we'll go for lovely bright magenta pink shoes. So did anyone answer my question and I just haven't looked at the comments about decorations? Do you change your decorations every year or do you stick up the same ones? get bored of the same things one of the times I like to change it up a bit. Now I'm just going to kind of create a bit of shading, not loads, just a little bit. Just a little bit of shading, just a little bit. And I'm, to be honest, I'm following the lines that's already stamped. It looks red. Oh, it's actually pink. Yeah, it's magenta madness. I've not missed me. It's what's hung on the wall in the cupboard. What your tree's still up in the cupboard? Is that Ellie? 
Deborah says she changes her tree but always puts her nativity up every year. Oh, that's nice. So I'm going to come in with this. Is a, these are both alcohol markers. Coming in with a lighter colour. I'm going over a few times because I want that colour to blend nicely with what I've got. It might look a bit shabby now, but the more you blend the colour, the more it will work to your advantage. And I want to have that sort of distinction between the two colours if I can. A bit of speed colouring here. Uh, we gave away our 20 plus year old lighted nativity scene yesterday, says Mary. Wow, that must have been quite momentous. Uh, but dear husband is enjoying using the laser lights that shine on the house much quicker and easier for him. Oh, now did I do her? Yes, she's got pink sleeves. She's a bit pink and green. She looks like she's the lady version of the Grinch, but we've all soon changed that, don't you worry. <laughs> She's just quite fun and retro, maybe I should have gone for skin tone tights, but where would the fun be in that, eh? Um, yes, the other thing I like doing, which I discovered by mistake actually, uh, is to add some little pom-poms. And you just do some little dots. Uh, pom poms will go across her skirt, wouldn't they? They wouldn't just suddenly end. There we go. Some little pom poms. Now, interestingly, for the tree, <clears throat> I've stamped in evening evergreen and I couldn't find my blend because I put it away for a glass. So I started colouring in in light shaded spruce. But what I liked about it was the effect that it gave me. I'm jumping ahead of myself. I need to add the baubles to my tree. So I'm going to go back in with my magenta to make sure that, because it's such a bright colour, I'm going to try and make sure I spread these out a bit. <clears throat> if you're really careful, you could have a little bit of a shine on them. I forgot to do so we're not going to do that <laughs> oh dear what am I like eh now the green tends to get a little bit lost I'm going to concentrate a bit more on the outside of the tree with the green Linda says she's got beautiful handmade tree charms that her daughter makes her every year that's so lovely it's a lampshade skirt there you go Cheryl says she used to have the laser lights too, but the cords ran across the lawn and were always in the way when the lawn guy came round. Oh yes, that could be an issue. So this is Daffodil Delight. Um, a friend kindly bought me a lovely snowflake laser beam. So cool, I love it. So that goes out every year. I haven't got many orange baubles on my tree, but there is orange there. So I'm incorporating all these colours to have a nice matchy matchy. Still not convinced about her legs. <laughs> I'm gonna have to leave it now. We'll just, you know, it's all part of the live, so it'll just be memorable. Oh, do you remember that year that Esther coloured in her leggings? She made them bright green. Okay. So, as I was saying, <laughs> the greens. So, I've stamped an evening evergreen, but I'm going to colour in in light shaded spruce. But when I say colour, I'm just going to do kind of this kind of colouring. So, sketchy, sketchy colouring. Now, the joy of doing sketchy colouring is you get left with white lines, which adds to that, what I think, retro kind of colouring look, that kind of... What's Claris? Is Claris Cliff got gaps of white? No, I'm thinking of somebody else. Like bright dots with. Okay, I'm making it up now. Hey ho, in my head it looks really retro to me. 
<laughs> I could paper piece the legs. What do we think? Do we just think they look a bit odd in green? I think I'd like there's an alien walking behind the tree. Here's some I made earlier. Maybe I could chop her legs off. Look, don't you think her legs would look better in the flesh colour? Just give me a heads up on that one while I uh, finish my tree. So then I realised that I was like, oh, that looks light. I've used the light shaded spruce, but it was kind of like a happy mistake because um, Mary likes her tights. <laughs> then I've come in with the dark shaded spruce and now you can kind of just highlight some of those tree lines and just kind of give it a little bit more something something because we want it to still look like a tree although we want the ball balls there as well and I think I'll stop there they match her gloves but I'd change them yeah I just every time I look at it I'm not convinced <laughs> So I could just, shall I just, right, nobody look, I'm going to just chop her legs off. I say nobody look and I'm showing you what I'm doing. I'm going to have to stamp that again, I think, because I've done a bad operation on her legs there. Um, let's, let's fix this because... It's going to bug me, I think, you know, when you're not happy with something. You like it the way it is. OK, you guys are. Oh, look, here's another pair I made earlier. <laughs> Just got all legs everywhere. I tell you what, why don't we make a feature of the tights if we could put some polka dots on them? Just make it worse by adding. Oh, no, not worse at all. That's cute. Now they don't look like her legs. Now they look like polka dot tights. Fixed it. Do you laminate the special ornament? No, I don't laminate them. Because I like, you know, there's something about paper and this has got ribbon and it's got layers. But, I, you know, it's, there's something nice and tactile when you're actually holding it. There you go. Look, she's got spotty tights. And I'm not going to colour gloves in, but I'm just going to give it a bit of shading. Right, so that's the lady. So do the mittens. With, yeah, I was going to do the mittens with dots, but then that'd be really kind of, you know, a bit crazy that in the same shop, they not only sell the same colour mittens, but they do matching patterns. <laughs> OK, so I'm going to, quick as I can, but carefully as I can, cut this out, a.k.a. fussy cut. And I'm giving myself a tiny border. It's dotted, says Mary. She's got dots on her tights now. She's happy. She's a happy girl. <laughs> so, let's just... The great thing about this set is you can colour it in any colour. You can do paper piecing with it. As you can see, I've added to the tree, which makes it look fun. You can personalise it to somebody's actual tree decorations. So somebody in my team was saying they've decorated their tree with, what colours did she say? I think she said either brown and beige or something, which she said sounds boring, but I can imagine it looking rather luxurious. I had brown one year. I can't remember if I did brown with lilac. That's a colour scheme I've not done in a long while because I don't, Oh, I wonder if I've got any brown ball balls. You, Susan likes the leg dotage. We're all good. We're all good. <laughs> oh, I'm glad. She's darling, Esther. Looks like breakfast at Tiffany Colours. Yeah, a bit like that. We're okay. Mind the ball balls. Well, just wait. I'm not finished yet because uh, there's more. So I'm going to carefully cut these out because the baubles weren't there originally remember I added them <laughs> thank you everybody for watching can I just say if you share this out other pe people can join us as well and there's lots of different ways of being able to, places to share this broadcast out so even if you're watching this on replay <coughs> excuse me
Sophie's name. You can still shout out. Okay, to be honest, by the time she's hung on the tree with her friends, no, she's not going to have friends. Um, <laughs> I'm not saying she's not going to have friends because of the way she's dressed. I'm just saying she's going to be the only decoration. By the time she's hung, you probably won't notice. So I'm going to bring on this lovely glimmer paper and we're going to cut out a star. Now, I did actually cut one out earlier, so I might do the whole cheap thing and go, here's one I made earlier. I've used this large star from the Christmas trimming styles, which match various, no, they don't, they match tidings and trimmings. And this lovely sparkly paper, which you might still have in your stash, was from this year's celebration. And I've still got quite a bit, like I've used loads and I've still got loads left. So I'm like, do you know what, because that was this year, that is going to pop behind Our Lady. I think we need to give her a name. What should she be called? Suggestions are welcome. And then I'm going to cut out the year. Uh, she's going to have a bow as well. So I'm just kind of fast tracking here. Oh, thank you for sharing, Deborah. Very kind of you. So, um, You've probably got literally minutes left if you did want to join Stampin' Up! and their special offer at the moment for £75. Crazy offer. You save yourself £55. And you get to be on my team, which is, you know, part of the best deal. No, I'm joking. <laughs> no, we do have fun as a team. I've got um, a few on my team now and it's, it, you know, it's more than a team. It's like becoming a little family. It's lovely. So it's a great community. Myrtle, Tiffany, of course, we could call her Tiffany. Chrissy, Star. She could be a starlight lily. Need my um, I've sort of reserved ribbon scissors. Noel. Yep. I suppose it makes sense if she was called Tiffany, wouldn't it? See if I can, what I can see on the screen is very different from what I can see on my actual phone screen. So I'm just going to... It's the green gloves that are a bit garish, I think. Get you out a little bit. Oh, out you come, out you come. Ah, there you go. I've got uh, Claire on my team and she says, oh, we love you as our team leader. There you go. And and I didn't pay her to say that, just incidentally. OK, so I'm going to cover up the mittens with the bow because we don't need to see the green matching mittens anymore. OK, we do. I'm going to stick on the branch because I coloured them in. <laughs> Talk about changing her mind. What's she like? All righty. So I was thinking about things I could write on the back of my decoration for this year. What's happened in 2021? It's funny, isn't it? When a year goes by, sometimes, not that, not that each year is not significant, but some years significant things happen and other years less significant things happen. Uh, Claire's thinking about the Grinch because she's in the green colours. Maybe she's a Grinchette, but this is like the Grinch turned. See, because she's she enjoys Christmas now. Now, do you know what I did? I put these numbers back earlier and I was like, yeah, I'm going to find them really easily when I get them out again. <laughs> well, there you go. I'm starting to find them. Now, I know that this is the supposed to be the zero. Oh, there you go. Can you see? But I prefer the O, the letter O for, for this. You got. I think you're zoomed in so much now that I can't actually see what you can't see what I'm doing. Very difficult to get it in the right spot. Sorry, I should have warned you before <laughs> before I did the zoom me in, zoom me out thing. Right. So we're going for a green. No, this is yellow. This is daffodil, and then. 
a little green bit in the bin that's too small. So I'm going to go yellow, green, uh, Daffodil Delight, Granny Apple Green, and then Magenta with the pink. Oh, Stop Press. I was going to have it on, um, what do you want to call it? Foam pad, that's the word. Good job I was paying attention, wasn't it, eh? Christmas decks are sold out here near San Diego. And it's not even December yet. People are going all out. Oh, that's interesting. I know some people had their decorations up early this year. I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about earlier than that. I mean, I'm not going to go too early. I think that's a bit, you know. But I just think, to be honest, if you're going to have them up, you might as well have them up for as long as possible. If I'm going to spend time putting them up, I don't want to be like, Going, all right, that's it then. Show's over, time to take them down, which, like, some people do, <laughs> don't they? Some people take them down, like, Boxing Day. It's, I'm like, I've only just got them up. <laughs> like, that's why I like to put them up fairly early in December, normally. So that I can enjoy them. And then there comes a point, sort of, after Christmas, where I'm like, right, okay, now I am. I like to get them down before the new year, just because I get a bit... I'm like Christmas is over now <laughs> and I want to sort of start thinking about getting ready for New Year. <laughs> when do you take your decorations down? Let me know in the comments. Well, let me know when you put them up in the first place. Ah, I see Linda leaves them up until after the New Year. I just think for New Year's I like it to be... I like to have some sort of decoration. I, Actually, I say this every year that I must try and get some, um, or make, I should make some New Year's decorations. Because as soon as the Christmas decorations go down, it looks so bare. And it looks just so strange without any lights or anything. So I try and put some candles up and things. And uh, try and sort of do, I don't really have New Year's decorations. But I'm going to have to try and maybe make some, right, 2021, just make sure I'm doing the right date. And I'm looking for that piece of Bermuda Bay, which I had in my, there you are. Uh, Wendy said she used to put hers up on the 13th of December as it's a day after her birthday. But since I've been on the 17th, that seems too late. My mother-in-law's birthday is on the 13th. Now, I used to think they put them up after her birthday, but apparently they put them up by her birthday. So there you go. Deborah puts hers up before the 6th of the new year. Do you mean put them up or put them down? <laughs> it's getting confusing. When your children are small, says Valerie, we had the tree up until March one year, as they wouldn't let you take it down. Ah, oh, I decorate with the snowman theme in January, says Cindy. My big tablecloths are snowflakes so that tablecloth works all winter. Yes, that's a good idea. Can I tell you my tablecloth story? Uh, I went to the charity shop, as yet as I do, and I saw one of those sort of plastic tablecloths, Christmassy one. Looked at it, thought, oh yeah, that'll, that's a good size. It's about two metres that will fit my table. And I was like, I don't really need one. I've got a Christmas one. I don't really need it. It was £1.50 for this tablecloth. And I was just like, that's too much of a bargain for me to walk away and not, you know, not have. So, uh, excuse me a moment while I just grab my handheld punch. Um, so, yeah, I, I caved and I bought it. What die set are you using for the numbers? Deborah, thank you for typing in capitals so that I can see, <laughs> see your question. It's from this alphabet one called Playful Alphabet Dies. The great thing about the alphabet dies is they come with numbers as well. Can you see the numbers? So very useful. Now I was going to punch a hole just so I know where I am with everything.
Okay, so the idea was to try and position the numbers sort of across the top like this. <coughs> Deborah puts hers up on around the first. Yeah, I think I've changed over the years because we used to live um, in a different town and they used to have the lights, um, the light switch on. And I used to then try and have it on for that. So that used to actually, that used to be the end of November. And then I changed it to the 1st of December. But now it's just when I've got time. <laughs> And I just like, right, I haven't got time the rest of the week, so it's going to have to go up. Thank you, Vicky, for being a super admin. There you go, I like that. What do you reckon? Nice and bright and cheery. My little Grinchette. Okay, she's a bit long, but that's okay. We're just going to go with that, I think. Any other suggestions? Oh, I did wonder about maybe putting a bit of sparkle, but we'll do that afterwards. And I was, uh, I've got the space on the star to write. Limited space and I'm going to pop her up on dimensions. Or I could just do a little line like so. Chomp down on some of these. Ah, oh, enjoy your meal, Cheryl. She's off to do her dinner. So we're going to pop some foam on there. be fun if it's slightly covering the numbers. Yep, I like that. Okay, very jazzy this year. Going all jazzy, jazzy jazz. <coughs> Turn her. So 2021 is at her side. I've only just read that comment. I did wonder about having 2021 on a little platform under her feet, but I thought it'd make it too long. So, uh, right, let's find some, look, I've still got some of this, which will match last year's. We could do, should we do another bow at the top? This is what I did last year. I don't know if I need another bow. Mm. I'm draw this on the shelf. Okay, so let's give myself a good... Length of ribbon. It's nice to see these build up over the years and then you can turn them around and read all the read what's happened the previous year. Now the other thing I do with my kids is we do like a time capsule, I think I think I spoke about before, um like a worksheet. So they've got to write down like some favourites. So favourite animal, colour, TV programme, thing to do, subject to school, that kind of thing. And we've been trying to do that for the past few years, which is fun. And it's interesting to see how their handwriting changes as well. <laughs> oh, Mary loves it. Thanks, Mary. Thank you. If you want to order from our online shop, Vicky has kindly put in the deets. Now, look, I've got some coloured pearls here. Which I could be very frugal. Why look any further? Why look further? Why look any further? Let's see if I can fish this one out the packet. Come on. Has it still got any sticky? Let's find out. Look at that. Perfect colour. I love it when that happens. You decide it doesn't suit another project, but then later there comes a project that it does suit. 
and it's just sort of hidden little gems in there. I won't use those ones actually. But I do think it needs a bit of Christmas light sparkle. Oh, we'll have a... Oh dear, I folded this over, that's no good. Let's have a star at the top of the tree. And then, oh, no, actually, they're too big. <laughs> Esther gets sidetracked by her embellishments. Easily done. Easily done. Oh, thank you, Janine. She says, Esther, that is just beautiful. Mary says, when I take my Christmas decorations down, I write a note and put it in the box. Oh, that's nice. What sort of note do you write? These are representative of the Christmas lights on the tree. Have a bit of sparkle. under there. <laughs> Disguise the glove a bit. I feel like my grid paper is a bit messy. You could do with a bit of a cleaner surface, couldn't you? I'll tell you what, look, I've got a piece of DSP under here. So let's clear the deck so you can actually see what I'm working on. <laughs> Ta-da! There! That's going to go on this year's tree. Oh, wait, 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 there's more. I'm going to add some Winkle Stella because we can. Because the tree will look just, we're going all sparkles this year. Lots and lots of sparkle on my Christmas tree. Maybe some in her skirt because it's a party skirt after all. Careful, the colour doesn't bleed too much. A little bit on there, like this. Sparkly tights. Okay, I'm happy now. Oh, Janice sneaks in at the very last second. We're about to hop off. Janice, close your eyes. <laughs> there we go. The new iridescent rhinestones will look awesome on the tree. Did I order some? I think I've got some in my basket. So this is going to be this year's 2021 decoration. I'm going to write on the star a little bit about things that have happened this year and about the family. Thank you, Deborah. Enjoy your meal. And this was last year. So they're all going to be different depending on what Stampin' Up! bring out as well. And um, the plan is to have the date on it somewhere. So then you have a nice collection going on. And, you know, the idea is that they they will be different. I don't want them to look the same. I want them to look all different. They're a must-have, the gems. Uh, I'm not... <laughs> I don't have to be persuaded twice, Vicky, with gems. Thank you, Janine. She says, that's a wonderful tradition you started, Esther. It will look lovely on your tree, says uh, Claire. Thank you. I'll have to take a photo of my Grinchette. <laughs> I, th I think, you know, the polka dot tights just, you know, we'll just go with that. And it's the in colours. Yes, a lot of in colours. And this was, I had just jade um, last year as well. So. Right. Oh, another. Can I just tell you one quick funny story? Before I, go? Now, I won't mention the exact item because um, oh, I don't know if you'll watch it. My son, my eldest son. He mentioned about watching my YouTube videos earlier, so I won't mention it, the exact item. But my youngest son has bought my eldest son a present. What's the time? Oh, he's not even in bed yet, so I won't, I won't say what it is. And I've been waiting for it to come. 
it's, it's taken a while. Anyway, finally came here today and I kept twitching every time the door went, thinking the postman was here or the courier guy. And, um, sorry, I'm just going to swipe there. And um, anyway, finally, it's like early evening, sort of dinner time, doorbell went and said present arrived. <laughs> and it just made me chuckle because... The seller had wrapped it, wrapped the object, and you could like tell exactly what it was. So I was thinking, it's a good job my son didn't open the door. To, I mean, thankfully I was expecting it, etc. But you know, <laughs> you know when something's wrapped in a certain shape, and you're like, you know exactly what it is. Or like when people try and wrap a mug, it's like, yeah, I think it's a mug. <laughs> it just, it just made me chuckle anyway. It might have been one of those you had to be there moments but um, yeah all will be revealed soon but I'll wait till Christmas is over you have to remind me because I took some photos I tried to take photos but it, you can't always notice it in in the photo very well well that's what I thought it should have been disguised in some way right but it, it kind of wasn't it looked really obvious <laughs> looked really obvious but there you go oh it's it's not too exciting to you and me but it will you know he'd like it so that's the main thing anyway thank you so much lovely to see you and um hopefully i'll catch you guys again or you will catch me perhaps um another time you, i'm usually around on tuesdays i know linda in a box so i've now put it in a box so he doesn't know what it is but there you go well i don't think it's it wouldn't have saved him on postage necessarily wendy says i ordered a dressing gown for elsie and it came in clear plastic <gasps> Oh, yeah, I've, I've had things like that happen before as well, where it comes in the box, but oh, never mind. Yes, anyway, thank you for joining me in my Grinchette lady. I'm going to go hang her on the tree. Um, take care of yourselves. Good to have your company. Lots of love. Uh, Melanie O says, what a great idea to showcase your paper crafting. I think I will start. Great. Who's going to join me? In making a decoration every year and I'll hold you accountable. Ah, oh, Janine wants to steal her from my tree. Ah, oh, Rayleigh, nice to see you. Thank you for joining me. Right folks, take care of yourselves and I'll be back next week probably for something else Christmassy. Really get us in the spirit of things. Take care, God bless. Bye-bye. <laughs>